Wait, what is that? Oh, it's like a wyvern. A Trojan Equity. Caddy? I don't know what that word is. And a Troy butler? A butler? Really? This is some like dark beauty and the beast shit where instead of being turned into enchanted household items, everybody got fucked into a creature. I love these plants. I love these plants so much. They're so pretty. We have her now. Do we? Where? Did I miss something? Hello? I sent something sinister in the air, says Ishtola. Yeah, I mean... there You can clearly see some void sent up here. Oh, creepy face. And try and trappers, too. get a better look at one of these. Oh, that was a bit silly. Might have overwritten a feather. Whoops, that's not the button I wanted. Alright, hold on. What's going on with your face? Oh boy! They got a mouth that goes all the way down their chest. Fucking creepy. Let's get all up in their business again. Hold on. I want to see more of you. Oh! They don't even have hands. They've got like scythe pincer arms. Oh ho ho! Very spider. Very spider. Okay. Ooh. Stewards. Even bigger than the butlers. Oh, and some reinforcements. The burbs. Burbs are back in town. Many like floaty fucking bullshits. Look at all this environment. Oh, like, there's so much stuff. Half of this entire area we can't even go to. And it's all so fucking pretty. Ah! Treasure coffer. Trapped in my own domain. No. I don't want to be eaten. Is that how things are these days in, in the void? We get to fight her a second time? Oh, that's cool. So the gate did open again and delivered the most mouth-watering morsels. Oh, she gets a voice. Oh. 
Wait, why would this have a savage version? This is a dungeon. I don't know what you mean by that because the only dungeon we're getting a savage mode of is the Criterion one, which is the Sildin Subterrain. Because the Sildin Subterrain will have three total versions. There's the Sildin Subterrain, which is for you to go in casual mode, you can do one to four people. That's the one that has multiple routes. Uh, 12 total different endings, I think. And then there's another Sildin subterrain, and that's the one that is the Criterion Dungeon, which has only one route, and it has a Savage version. So there's three iterations of that dungeon that can be played. Alright, well... I thought we'd get to fight Beatrice, but Scarboy had to say no. This is an interesting voice. First Echo sounds like a rave light. Sure was. something about Earth, and yeah, from back here you can definitely tell the Earth, this whole cave is like, moss. I like his cape, his cape's my favorite part. Lighted sweep, oh. Oh, the edge is bad. That was over by itself. Unfortunate. I did hit one or two others, but I wanted to aim into the middle of the group. Oh. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, 
Unfortunately, you will. I actually haven't played Final Fantasy IV myself, so most of these things I, I know only by virtue of the game being so old and other people talking about it. Do we come please? I took a very long tour through your castle. Oh, it's also 4 o'clock and my afternoon bed alarm is going off. Thank you. Thank you, my darling tablet chen Let me put those in my body real quick so I don't forget. Today is a Wednesday. Yes, it is. But yeah. I just, I'd only seen uh, pictures of him from the front, so I'd never seen his cape before and all the detail in the back of it. So, his cape is definitely my favorite part. I've got a soft spot for Earth-aspected things in general, because I like I like plants a lot. I don't know if you could tell by me geeking out over the fucking holographic prismatic leaves here. <laughs> Alright. Got that, got that. And we're gonna open that box. We're gonna see what the pop-up text is for our buddies here. Ugh. And I'm gonna see what else he said during the fight. So yeah, Beatrice trapped in my own domain. No, I don't want to be eaten. And then Scarmelion was all like, tough shit, nom nom. Estinian said, it seems he wants to devour us too. Scarmelion. Hiss, your ether is mine. He would find us unappetizing. Yeah? Breathe deep of your deaths. You must die. My blade thirsts for blood. Protect me, my minions. No, they didn't. I give you a taste of true despair. Such overwhelming power. You stole it really wasn't. Brace yourselves. No, it's Dinny and it was nothing. Stubborn mortals. I have not finished with you yet. Come, fill your lungs. No, I will not be defeated by you. And then you were. Ho, 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 ho. Alright, so what do you guys have to say? Anything? That was a fearsome foe. Is that it? Yeah, same as Dinian. Is that it? Stola, you having a good time over here by yourself? Who was that void scent? Didn't you, didn't you hear him? I know you're blind and all, but your ears still work. His name is Scarmelion. He said so. He said so himself. Hose of Fending. What do those look like? Oh, they strappy. Okay. Find out what I'm doing with those later. Hint, it's probably to synthesis. And out we go. It's supposed to be a robe, but... Oh. Probably to match an existing Scarmelione. form. He knew the gate had opened. Yeah, I mean, Big Void Scent can do that. And not for the first time. He and his brethren must keep watch over the portal. As we do ours, but to unflinchingly consume our fellow Voidsent. Yeah, what was that about? Like men, perhaps they form factions and fight amongst themselves. Ooh. 
You know what? Seeing Brashan from the side like this, his profile reminds me of Ephemeral. Hmm. I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know what pieces make you. Anyway. The question is, what will the minions do? Nothing we can't handle, clearly. Hello, Aegis. Where your where your boss now, by the way? Your mistress is no more, and the one who consumed her we slew in turn. Do you still mean to try us? We're their boss now. I expect some void sent are more intelligent than others. Perhaps these ones simply do not understand our words. They're literally just standing there. I mean, they showed up. But... Even beasts ought to understand strength. Shrug. <laughs> Just try to explain. There is much we do not know about Voidsent. If we are to survive their world, it would be wise to learn their ways. Yeah, from the front it doesn't look like a femoral face because most uh, rows have very flat bottomed noses. But the actual. Yeah, the angle. I see, like, the angle of it. Wah. All right, let's proceed with caution and pick up what we can, or don't overthink it. We'll improvise as we go along. Ah, we'll, we'll be we'll be cautious. We're being cautious. Sage advice, my friend. It is reassuring to have one so experienced with us. Oh, true. Has did you still end up in the void when we were in the Crystal Tower? Did she come along? I don't think she did. I don't remember. I am here, sister. Finally here. And I will find you. I swear it. I love this, just adventuring through the void in a bikini. Let's go. <gasps> Buried memory. Ooh, is that a first? I don't remember them ever putting the patch logo like in a cutscene like that before. Hmm. Ooh, non-dungeon version. Hello. Huh? Oh, I can talk to them. Hello? Okay, okay. Watchful, okay. Oh, now I can get good looks at them because they're not attacking me. Look at that face. He's got two faces. You look tastier every time you walk by. <sighs> but I mustn't teach you. I mustn't eat you. Oh, why's that? Who told you you mustn't eat these fucking flowers though? God, I love it here. I live in the void now, sorry. I know I spent like nine hours on Island Sanctuary, but this is the island I'm gonna live on from now on. Forlorn? Yeah? Ah, my mistress. <laughs> What must I do to bask in your sublime gaze once more? I don't know. Oh. Oh, there's a mouth down here, too. Okay. You are creepy as hell. Fearful. Without a master to rule us, it won't be long before we start preying on one another. And the weak are the first to be devoured. I must find someone strong to serve and quickly. Hmm. Anybody else? I can go into the keep too? Bruh. Ah! 
Pilgrim's Ascent. Okay, okay, okay. Passage to the Hydromantic Terraces. Hydromantic! What a word! Okay, here's all. None of these guys came to life. That's a little disappointing to me, not gonna lie. It's very evocative of the, the clay army. I am, in fact, going to run all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon just to see if there's any other passive critters hanging out for me to talk to. I know we, like, wrecked shit all throughout here. But we're going. We're discovering. We're finding things. We are basking. What is under that? I wonder. I wonder. What's under this? Hello? Are you a mirror? Are you a painting? What are you? I think it's supposed to be a mirror. Hmm. Otherwise, it's a blank. Can't. It's a mirror. It's got to be a mirror. Not that mirrors work in this game. Even The Sims can make mirrors work, but Final Fantasy XIV, small indie company. The painting's the same. The painting's the same. Yep, painting's the same. Okay. Look at this critter. Look at that little happy smile. I like it. I like the unicorn doggo. It's cute. I wonder what your significance is. I want to find out what's up with all these reflective distortions, too. What are you? Any critters? No critters there. No critters there. Hello? No? Okay. Passage to Carcere for Carcere. Yes, we're going. We're going all the way. If you thought that I couldn't take longer in this dungeon, you were wrong. I can't believe this is this. <laughs> oh, this place looks like it's still being built. Where'd all these blocks come from? Huh. Splash, splash. Okay. And then it gets warpy, wacky, fucky. Down here. I wonder why it is only... This is the only door that's left still square. There's something to do with this room. For sure, for sure. Oh, wait. This one is... Well, we get to go through that one, so... Oh, maybe this one... I don't know, we could see in that whole room. This beginning, though, wiggle wobble. I'm a little sad that more of the dungeon wasn't like this, but... Passage to... <gasps> yes! Hello. I should be glad to show you to the Hydromantic Terraces, if it please you. Oh, okay, so you're just a, a fairy. You know what? That's fine. I'm glad that I know you exist, and I will, in fact, use your services. Okay, that was a fun adventure. I'm glad I didn't have to run all the way back. Okay, but before I talk to y'all, I'm going to go this direction now. <laughs> Wait, is that... Yeah, I did fill in the map already. Cool, cool. It's so pretty. Oh, wait. I am forbidden. But what if I want to go fuck around in the garden? 
Okay, fine. I guess I'll do the quest. If I gotta. This is a very exciting dungeon, and the fact that there's a explorable version after the fact. Love. Love, 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 love. It seems these minions are keeping their distance for now. Let's carry on. Bashan? I never dreamed I would come this far. I can't thank you all enough for your cooperation. Of course, like, who would pass up this opportunity, really? Or really? Alright, Stola, what you got for us? But this castle should serve as a base of operations for now. And we set our sights elsewhere. Let's see what there is to learn here. Oh, are you going to tell me to go talk to them now? Because I did that a little already. But I'll be very excited to see if any of the dialogue changed. From this point onwards, you will not encounter Aetherites for a while. Should you leave Troya Castle, you may return here via Weaver's Warding. I, I gathered that by my little jaunt back. Additionally, you may now enter the Fell Court of Troya with a party of NPC avatars. To make use of this feature, open the trust. Yeah, 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 okay. Wherever I turn is darkness, as far as I can perceive. The only source of light here is ourselves. The opposite was true in the first. Well, that does make sense. It seems the minions are content to go up for now. Let's carry on. Okay, his line changed slightly. Content to gop, even though it was uh, keeping their distance right before that. Alright, Varshan. Shadowed Remnants. Varshan wears a look of quiet determination. Let's be determined together. Tell me. Tell me your things. Tell me your secrets. The warding scales exhibit no change. It should be safe to remain here and begin our search. But whither now? I would send such Daya were she remotely near, but there is nothing. Might you not call to her? Let her know that you have come. Alas, this vessel is not capable of calling across vast distances. For that, I require my true form. And even were it possible, a dragon's call is born upon ether. It is liable to draw more void scent to us. I see. In any case, there's a little ex uh, there's little exploration to be done while we are confined to this isolated isle. I propose we begin by learning what we can from the castle's occupants. An understanding of their ways may prove useful to our cause. Very well. Let's hope a few of them are capable of speech. A few are! Let all remain vigilant while we go about our inquiries. We reconvene afterwards. Okay. Spooky music. Am I allowed to go up now? Can I go into the into the garden now? Am I allowed now? Or is the barrier still red? Oh, there's just no bar oh, barrier still red. Okay, fine. I just want to look at more flowers. <laughs> Estinian, did you really pick the one that doesn't speak? This one does not but stare. The other one growls. This one. This one, Estinian. It makes noise. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And do you have a name? What do you do here? Uh okay, okay. Mm hmm. The creature snarls and glares at you. It's unlikely that you will learn anything from it. Yeah, it is feral. It's right there in my ether vision. Varshan, how do you feel about the big guy? Some seem willing enough to converse. Whether they have the ability to do so is another matter. Ability? I still think it's he's got a face on his face.
and then hair that's also a cloak, and just two big scythe arms. Alright, watchful buddy. I'm here again. What have you got to say this time? What enticing ether you have. Give me some. Give me some. Yeah, you were saying I get tastier every time I pass by. But no. Oh, if only I were stronger, I'd be able to eat you. Fine, fine. I'll find someone else to eat. <sighs> While able to communicate, this one seems to only think of feeding. Better to take your inquiries elsewhere. Okay. Anything else? I want to eat you. I mustn't eat you. I want to eat you. I mustn't eat you. Okay. Did uh, this void scent have something else to say? Instead of Gurgra. Gurgra. Nope. Okay. Cool. Okay, same, same. Good, good, good. I fucking love these plants. I want void plants. Like the prevailing tongue in Northern, the language of this world bears a resemblance to our own. It may be assumed that they share a common ancestor. We we did all we are shards of the same world, so yes. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Three mouths. A one. A two. A three. I still can't believe this is the this is the forlorn wailing. This movement is the I'm so sad. So I tell you what, when I'm sad, I just yeah, do that. You good? The mistress's eyes were beauteous, sublime. To bask in her gaze is bliss. But now she's gone. Never again will I feel her gaze. No mistress, no orders. What am I to do now? What am I to do now? Y you could be an individual? I don't know. The creature mutters endlessly to itself, not sparing you so much as a glance. Oh, okay. No mistress, no orders. Okay, yep, same things. You're the smartest one here, dude. I serve. I obey. Please don't eat me. Alright, that's a healthy fear, I suppose, but I'm not here to eat you. Looking for a dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, dragon. What's that? Does it taste good? I don't know anything about it. Don't know about anything. But the one we caught recently, they seemed to know lots. We threw them in the dungeon, but clever ones are tasty. They might have been eaten already. You've learned all you can from the Void Scent. If you look in the dungeon, you might be able to find the clever one it mentioned. Okay, I was definitely already down there and didn't see anybody, but I'll look again. We threw the clever one in the dungeon, but clever ones are tasty. If I had the chance, I don't think I could resist. Clever ones are tasty, he says. This guy's really cool looking, though. Man. Do you care that there's a clever one in the dungeon? No, you don't. Okay. Let's go on another trip. <laughs> ah. Too bad there's not another little imp helpfully up here to take me back to the entrance. Time for tour three of the dungeon. <laughs> oh wait, what do you mean destination? I was told to go to the dungeon. This is not the dungeon. Oh, we're reconvening after. Okay. I see. I see. I will be taking my friends to the dungeon. I won't be going alone. Understood. So each of you picked one critter to talk to, and I talked to all the rest, so... I have nothing to share. While those I approached had no will to fight, neither were they capable of holding a conversation worth the name. My experience was much the same. Lower rung void scent tend to have lower intelligence, it would seem. That pity Scarmelion is dead. He was talkative. <laughs> he was talkative, at least. What of you? 
Yeah, I had some luck. The scaredy pants one, he had some information. There's a prisoner in the dungeon. Seems like he equated them to us. Not a dragon, though. A clever void scent in the dungeon. That would be the area in which we emerged. Indeed. Let's take ourselves back there and find this void scent. Preferably before its fellows make a meal of it. Yeah. To the dungeon, then. Do I have to go there myself, or are you taking me? Oh, I have to go there myself? <laughs> Rest in pieces. It's fine. I did it before. We'll do it again. Oh, wait. Is there anything different here, then? <laughs> Probably not. On the look, anyway. A little bit. Seat of the foremost. Fancy word for a throw, or fancy way to say throne room. Oh! You weren't here before. I can't survive without someone to give me ether. But where, oh where, will I find a new master? Give ether? So it's a power structure and pyramid scheme ether distribution? Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Oh. Hey, doggo. You okay? Oh, I just realized these these are kind of like warped versions of that statue I was admiring earlier. Oh, they're just staring at each other across the table. You guys are gonna fight, aren't you? You're having a, you're having a bad time, huh? Can I sit in these chairs? No. Okay, that's fine. It let me sit in the throne. That's the most important one. Oh, are you guys gonna fight too? Don't fuck up the paintings, all right? Trojan, uh, Trojan doorkeeper. Pray we caught our weakened in the dungeon before being served up to the mistress. Tenderizing, she calls it, and that's the way she used to like it. I see. Once I get down there, I am gonna take a bathroom break. Oh, there's another couple covered. I bet they are supposed to be mirrors, and after the world went to shit- This thing, though! I think that those doggos are corrupted versions of whatever this critter is. It's cute! Ooh, Trojan guard dog. Oh, there's another one. Okay, they're having a time. Woof! <sighs> okay. Woofger. Woofger, indeed. Yeah, these critters were not here on my last tour through. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, maybe I'll maybe I'll go to the bathroom as I enter the dungeon because my tongue's upset. It's like you had a big lunch, actually. After not eating for a day. Whoops. Oh, they're kissing. Ew. Incredibly perfect. <laughs> Alright, be back again in a few.
Boy, howdy, Naya's lucky she doesn't have to use bathrooms. It was occupied. I had to go outside. I went outside. There were people walking around. I tried to go hide behind a car. Fucking spider web. Cool. Go find something to knock down the spider web. Hustle back over. <sighs> Alright. Back to it. Good job, guys. Stirring conversation. Mm -hmm. Trojan manservant. <laughs> there is only the one dungeon here. We call it the fourth. The mistress's orders. But the mistress is gone, and her orders with her. Rats can infest this castle for all I care. Yeah, okay. These guys didn't have any pop-up text, right? La 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 la. I can't feel good to chew on your tongue that much. This fucking- this view is incredible though, for real. So good. Mm. Oh, oh. Is my internet misbehaving? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Ooh, Troy and Jailer. I didn't realize that's what you were. Hello. No one comes and goes from this dungeon without permission. You, though, I'll make an exception. Go on, go. Yeah, yeah, okay. An exception, huh? Oh, now I can get a nice good look at these guys. Look at you with your little laser eye. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And your pointless teeth behind your head that don't lead to a mouth. Uh-huh, okay. Into the wibble wobble. Oh boy, I didn't notice that before. It's even worse in there. Oh man. Troyan Warden. You have anything to say? Sir? Hello? Madam? They're cool. Food for the mistress's consumption is kept in these cells. But the mistress devoured, we're free to help ourselves. But the clever one is strong. Another warden went in to devour the clever one, but he hasn't come back out. Ah. Oh, look! It's exactly the spot that I anticipated it. Alright, let me see if there's anyone else to talk to real quick, though. You just be having a good time? Yeah? The design of this one is so... I just freaking love it. So cool! And then it's probably, I guess, just the imp at the end, huh? Oh, wait, no. Some more... Roving folks. Doing a little patrol. Going for a, a little stroll. Yeah. Okay. Passage and attendant. Okay, yep. Just being a throw. Seems fine to me. Your net? Oh, okay. No, I was just looking. It's been a long stream. It's been 13 hours, so. Uh, when I check in OBS, it tells me I've dropped 1,500 frames, but over the course of 13 hours, that's really not a big deal at all. But, just in case it had been a spike, um, my Twitch preview was stuttering, so I was like, oh, maybe. Translation, I want to look tough, but you scare the shit out of me, guardsmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Stinian. I mislike the feel of this. Stay on your guard. Varshan. Could this be the clever void scent? Yes. I don't think it's a void scent necessarily, though. I think it's a... Definitely a reaper. Oh my god. There appears to be someone within. 
Let's go! Just throw the Warrior of Light at them. Hello! I've leveled Reaper. I know what's going on there. You're in your enshrouded form. Hello. It would have been funny to switch to Reaper just for this part. <laughs> Me. Yeah, uh huh. That didn't sound like friend, that sounded like find. Oh, it literally is the same one. Okay. Didn't you fade away when Xenos fell? Xenos? The disgraced prince you yourself laid low? Many times, yes. But just chill, hold on. I see it now. The bottomless darkness. The insatiable hunger. The aura was present when we faced him in Garlemald. Mm -hmm. When Xenos died, its connection to the source was severed. It was forced to return to the void. I mean, but Xenos also died, like, on the edge of the universe. You never know. It might have been too far away to slurp back to the, to the void, because the void is the connecting to the, the source more than the whole ass universe. You never know. Xenos. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, that was his name. And you are the friend, are you not? Well, he called me friend. I wouldn't put that label on whatever was between us. Are you really unable to recognize? You got an extra hand, like, growing out of your back. What's going on there? Oh, why is this glowing? Is that Hydaelyn's crystal? Yeah, the one you gave me, like, two quests ago. Yes. Oh! Oh, okay. A reaper became a void sent to- oh my god, the fucking jobception. That's a cool earring you got there. Hey, babe! But how? The power of light! The light just now, of course. And thus I am returned. So do you want to come back to the first with us? What do you mean, returned? Who are you? I was once bound to the man named Xenos. His avatar, until you killed him. Yeah. Avatar, as in the void sent servants of Reapers. Stola, I'm the level 90 Reaper in the room. Shut up. In the name of his hunt, Xenos took up that traditional Galian art. Mm hmm, I know. Stola. I know. And through it, he forged a covenant with a being of the void to lend him strength. Girl, I know. This must be so patronizing to actually do as a reaper, actually. Covenant? A curse, more like. He stole my power. There was no equity in the arrangement. My very essence was altered, twisted into a tool to serve his desires. Your previous appearance. This is your true form, then. Perhaps, perhaps not. What does it matter? Indeed. It doesn't. Okay, Astinian, nihilist much? Fuck off, I want answers. 
Regardless of your form, you are a void sent by nature. So answer me this. Are you our enemy too? In this world, only a fool would attempt to devour a stronger being. And though it was as an avatar, I lost you once, I have no desire to lose again. Good enough for me. Now, you will answer me a question. Xenos called you friend. That's what you are? A friend? Oh boy. Mm-mm. Strictly speaking, I'm Naya Lalita. Whatever Xenos may have said, I wasn't his friend. Not to you, at least not yet. Let's let's start with a name. Let's start with a name. Strictly speaking, I am Naya Lilith. So, you're not a friend. I mean, you're saying that like it means an adventurer or a plumber. Then, what is it? What is a friend? Ah, okay. I don't know. What did you mean when you said it? Oh well. Well, let's follow her. She's too pretty to let go, right? Okay then, ominous glowing darkness bubble. I assume the dungeon was reserved for those intended for the mistress's consumption. That is what the others around the dungeon have said, yes. It is fortunate that we came here when we did. Fateful, even. Maybe. I don't know. This lady's puzzles. Xenos' avatar, eh? What are the odds? We still know little about her, but for now I'm glad we found someone who can do more than loan for either. <laughs> You're not wrong. When I served Xenos, my mind was shrouded in haze. But one thing was always clear, his obsession with the friend. What the word means, I do not know exactly. I know only that it referred to you, and that yours was an important existence. Yeah, yeah. It seems a clever one did for my fellow warden after all. I knew it was a bad idea to go into the cell. Yep, yep. Sure was. Good job. You're smart. So where's that ominous darkness? Hissing at me. Ooh, you can actually walk over here. Even though it's not on the map. Okay, I didn't think it would let me back in. That's funny. Okay. What you got to say, Stola? As much as one might expect the unexpected, I doubt any of us could have foreseen this turn of events. She seems different from other voices, at least those we've met. And the change we've witnessed, I suspect, is due to your crystal purging the excess darkness in her. Even so, she still harbors a great deal of darkness, and I'm very keen to hear what she can tell us about herself and about her world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See what are these 580 foods? Scallop salad and beef stroganoff. Hmm. Tenacity, don't need that. Skill speed, nope. And peach juice, piety, uh uh. A Psycon cookie for spell speed. No, I'll just take this. Thank you. Xenos has been added to the unending code. So does Fen wait, Fen Daniel, the Asians. Are these just updates? I'm pretty sure we had these already. 
Hold on. Collections. Duty, duty collections. The unending codex. Unending is fucking right. Oh my god. Everything's been updated. Uh. Well then. For, mm, okay. Hmm. Ha. Huh, hmm. Nope. Not reading that today. Another time. Dark robed void scent. Where everything begins. The dark robed void scent regards you questioningly. So, I doubt you came into the dungeon by pure chance. What is it that you're after? A dragon. We were looking for a void scent with whom we could converse, in the course of which we learned of you. We are visitors to this world, and know little and less of its workings and ways. We would be grateful if you could tell us about it. About yourself. So, it's information you seek. What do you offer for it? I beg your pardon. Voids do not give unless we stand to gain. If you desire something, you pay the price. That is the sole rule in this world if you call the void. That makes sense. Pray forgive our ignorance. But what would be acceptable as payment? I suspect that such coin as we carry has no value here. Voids and crave one thing alone. Ether. In return for information, I offer you mine. Just not all of it, mind you. I still have need of my life. Very well. I will tell you no more than you can afford to pay. Then we have a bargain. If we're to talk about the void, let us do so outside. Come with me. You can take the long way. I've got a servant down here that'll fly me up to the top, actually. You guys enjoy your hike. Seems like that'll whip. Okay. For ring view. <laughs> I'm a little bummed that the roving ones don't have pop-up text. I wish they were mumbling to themselves or something. Anything. I mean, they are void sent now, but... The Ferengi do drastically predate this video game. Do these guys move towards you as long as you're not looking? Is that what they do? Kinda. Let me see if he follows me ish one more time. Mm. Mm, not quite. Who knows? Yeah, it could be either. I just wanted to see if it was a, a clear something or other. I should be glad to show you the to the hydromantic terraces if it pleases you. And it does. Did I go too far? They said outside. They did not mean this far. Oh well. You have anything new to say? Nope. Same. Okay. Down we go. Oh, did they? I thought I was being clever. I was like, oh, I'll take a shortcut. They literally just meant standing outside of the dungeon. They did not mean getting topside or any. They just, mm, they meant that pic place where I took a picture. That's what they meant. That was it. I'm making sure Naya gets her cardio in today. That's what I'm doing. That's my actual plan here. Why is that shiny? Why are you shiny? 
Hey doggos. Jump down from here. Let me jump over the railing. That's just mean. Where else am I gonna go? The floor, which I can actually walk on? Y'all. That is funny that they worked in the lore that we only have one dungeon, but the mistress wanted to call it four. Why? We'll never know. She's got. You really just meant standing outside. I'm so dumb. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You didn't worry for me. My life force is a small price to pay for her knowledge, and I will recover it quickly enough once we've returned home. We cannot allow Yishtola to bear the burden alone. What next? Uh, when next the opportunity arises, I will offer my own either. That one rule is no different from that of many of our own world. It's those like Alphano who are a rare breed. Speak? Voice? This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the void. Mm hmm, mm hmm. There was once light here, and it shone its warmth upon creation. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Life flourished. Before the war, the Contra Memoria. Against memory? It must have been a terrible war indeed. It shattered the balance. Causing darkness to engulf the world. All life was transformed into monstrosities. Void sent. We are the natural order now. As light begat sin eaters, darkness begat void sent. The sun was driven from the sky as fleeting day yielded to endless night. In time, even land and sea lost their distinction. And though the spark of reason had died in us, driven by memory's shadow, we formed factions and carved out domains. This castle, for instance, its erstwhile lord must have abided in such a place once upon a time. If I may, the darkness in you is too much for any man to harbor. To my eyes, you are indeed a void scent. Did she ever say otherwise? Yet like... your knowledge of the past and your demeanor mark you apart from your brethren. You are different. That much is plain. But in what way, I am unsure. As you say, I am void sent, but only in part. Only in part. Only in part. Unlikely, but could also mean something along the lines of an octave below. Wouldn't be the first time Spranix used a meaning other than the obvious one that only makes sense once all of me. Uh, it could, but this is also the patch called Buried Memory. So. Against memory, buried memory. Kind kind of goes hand in hand, also. All right, voice and only in part. So what? How? Where? Hmm. Pardon? The darkness touched my mother when the war had only just begun, when I was still in the womb. As a child, I looked like any other. But darkness coursed through me, and I cease to age when I become a woman grown. Huh. But that was then. And now, 
I may as well be one in full. I prey on the weak and serve the strong. I live to survive. Nothing more. Forgive me. Twas not my intent to pry. Well, Vothri was very deliberately made. I don't necessarily get that vibe here. Especially since the Asians fucked this world and ruined a rejoining in the process. It was definitely not their intent. I realize, too, that I have neglected to ask your name. I mean, the very first thing I did was give mine. It was kind of implied that I was asking for one in return, but thank you, Stola. As we say, mortal, you may call me Void Scent. That's not a name. That is liable to cause confusion. If you are not averse, we would address you by your true name. Then call me what you will. I care not. Girl. How about Zero? That's insulting, Yishtola. Meaning nothing. A name as fitting as any. <sighs> Why'd you go along with it? No, not nothing, but rather a beginning. That is not. For it remains to be seen what you will become to us. That is not a general understanding of zero, Stola. As I said, I care not. Zero, then. Well, you already know my name. I don't think it's a nice name. I think that was rude. So, here's to a fruitful partnership. Partnership? Are you saying you wish to strike a bargain? I mean, we have ether, and you have answers. So, like. Well, Zero, while there is no end to the questions we could ask. It is only fair that we tell you our purpose in coming here. We are searching for a dragon. One who came to your world long ago. A dragon? Yes. Ajdaya is her name. Hi, she creepy shadow sister. orb. Hey, sneaky spy. Her, I beg you, share it with us. Yeah, yeah, fuck off, Shadow Orb. Or join the conversation, one or the other. Hey, Fractal! Did you say something? I don't know. I don't vibe or, or like, resonate with Sundere or whatever. She does very much have just a, an empty feeling to her for now. But welcome in, a fractal. I'm doing oh, a very long stream today. Doing all of the content. Big spoilers. If if you care to avoid them. It's it's why it's in my title. Yeah. But Yeah, Varshant really? You thought that was a Stinian hissing? I mean Mood, but no. 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 <laughs> I thought I heard a voice as well. The keening of void scent, perhaps. Well, Zero, did you notice something? Little spy orb? Beginning. A curious notion in a world where all has come to an end. And yet you continue. No one else seems to be nearby. Perhaps it was just a trick of the wind. The wind, which does not exist in this world? 
If naught is out of the ordinary, I should like to hear more from Zero. I can't imagine there are many part void sent like her who remember the world as it was. Yeah, yeah. Yup, story. We just got a new chonka story on Tuesday, but I went and did a whole bunch of other shit instead, so I'm doing the story now. Look at, isn't this place pretty though? Look at these colors. Look at, look at it. It's so good. The lighting in this shot here is so good. It's so good. This place is so cool. And here's, there's also two demons definitely making out back here. They're having a conversation, but you know. <laughs> Oops, there we go. And I want to talk to Astinian. We may have subdued the void sent here, but I doubt they'll remain that way. Remain vigilant. Always. Oh, I already talked to her. Alright, Barshan? I must say, we are rather exposed here. Perhaps we should continue the conversation within the castle. Should we? I mean, it's pretty out here. The throne room is defensible, given its few points of ingress. Let us head back there. Moving wasn't part of the bargain. I'll comply, but I expect my payment promptly. You shall have it as soon as we've arrived. They're so averse to, like, everything. Moving wasn't part of the bargain. Really, girl? We're just going for a walk? Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's good shit. This is good shit. I've been, like absolutely losing my mind over the treatment of um, some of the, the plants. It's mostly just leaves and foliage, but in the final area of this place, which we're not going to right now, but uh, did that get bigger? D did that get bigger? Hmm. He's still just growling? Yep, wolf growl. Okay. This looks bigger. Hmm. But yeah, this this whole oh, it's so it's so good. Everything is so good. Pikachus, Pikachus, Pikachus. I wonder if the Beatrice that we fought wasn't her if it was this lady because I feel like the degradation of the portraits is probably indicative of how long they've been gone and she literally just got got so hers would be the only one besides Queenie Poo that is in good good shape everything else is uh not doing so hot I want to know more about those portraits, man. Yeah. Well, I when you first said it, I hadn't clocked that there actually were other portraits in that room. Personally. <laughs> I was too busy staring at the big one. Oh, which expansion is this part of? This is uh, the new one, Endwalker. 6.2 uh, is this patch. 6.0 was the expansion drop. I, w I was G-posing them, but you put it in chat when I hadn't... I don't know. Mentally, I did not catch up to it at the same time. Ooh! You've got the combat aura. You've got that instance situation going on. Okay, interesting. I will see to the payment, and then we may ask Zero what she knows about Ajdaya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This looks like a very non-combat-oriented exchange. Absolutely. Definitely. Hmm. All appears unchanged here. And? I feel eyes on us. Stay alert. Oh, are we gonna get dropped on by the fucking mumbling darkness orb? You are cheap for the game you get. Well! Well! Shit happens, sorry? Oh, okay. Then Minagawa didn't work on this then. He was working on 16. Now, to be fair, 
there's a lot of cross po I said Tuesday. Oh, did I say two days ago? I mean, it is the second day. I don't know. You're, you're right, though, on a technicality. It is only Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Not two days ago. Okay. But, uh, back to Fractal's comment. There are a lot of people who are still working on both 14 and 16. Like, Yoshida is still the director for both. Or he is, like, the, the preeminent example. <laughs> so, yeah. Good, good teams. Good teams. Alright, upon proceeding... Oh, several cutscenes will play in sequence!